What's up guys, welcome to Wasted Space, back in RimWorld, still kicking off building my fortress. And I think actually I'm going to start this episode by hunting me some muffalo, because while these guys are hanging around somewhere useful like that, might be a good idea to make use of some of that meat. have a few plans for this episode, obviously we're going to continue sorting out the mess in the middle, uh, but there are a couple of other ideas, in particular... I want to do something about giving our guys more ability to help on the outside of the base. So I'm going to use something that they... Ooh, exhaustion? No, disappeared. Okay, we're fine. I'm going to use something that they... Uh, ooh, hang on. Carrion should not still be doing that. Fortunately, only bruised, but that was a small mistake. No, Carrion. Not you. Let's put... Uh, Jack's got a PDW. Let's put Jack back on the job. Fortunately, that's only a bruise. Yes, yeah, so I'm thinking of taking some inspiration from real castles again and putting on what's known as a barbican, which is like the little bits you have around and in front of a gatehouse that kind of allow you to defend that gatehouse a bit better. So if you can imagine bits kind of sticking out here that are pillbox style. Uh, right, we might not be too great at killing Muffalo. Oh, you got one. Okay, maybe, maybe maybe we're all right. Maybe I can leave Jack to his to his hunting. Uh, the other thing we'll do, we do have a completely enclosed prisoner room then, so you guys have convinced me that it is safe to go and set this back for colonists. Yep. And now Tip should come and move Kruka into this room as soon as the opportunity arises. Lots of muffalo coming in. Not getting hurt while doing the hunting, which is always good. Kruka's moved into where he should be. Good start. And then there was a question of blowing all this stuff up. Now, I don't know whether we actually have... Where's my inventory? I don't know if we have anything that can set fire to stuff at the moment. No, we don't. So, we need to keep an eye out for some molotovs or some grenades or something. Molotovs would be best. Um, because that would mean that we could then burn down all of these graves here. Uh, you guys... Don't know why these are all forbidden. I guess they bled to death rather than anything else. But fortunately, with how the whole thing is set up at the moment, I love this. Oh, I do like this. So, that's got everything back into the base. We can now safely... Let's just have a look at these batteries. They're no more efficient. Um... But we can, in theory, now safely deconstruct these two. Start clearing up more space inside things in here for things to work properly. Our food supplies are looking pretty good. So I think if there's a time to do these growing zones, it's pretty much now. I'm just going to, once that's deconstructed, we can then go and do the granite wall and continue that along to what will be the central section. Uh, we can't quite cut this bit off yet. What have we got in there? We've got comms relay, a bit of crafting, and a couple of solar panels. Well, these two solars can both be deconstructed. We've definitely got enough solar up there to keep the base running. Um, well, we've got tailoring and stone cutters. These can obviously both go as well. We'll leave the comms relay for the time being because I don't want to have a scenario yet where we don't have the ability. Of course, you just do a little bit of tailoring before we deconstruct that. See if you can get that in and done. Same with Zappa. <laughs> Even though they're marked as uh, deconstructed, they're just going to do a little bit of work while they take around, take apart the room around them. Oh, brilliant. Okay, we can also now do that bit as well, because obviously they have a route around there. Once that's done, we can deconstruct this. Almost. We need to leave that one block so that we can redo this little bit here. Uh, this is now all internal, so we could get rid of these doors, but at the moment they offer us a little bit of... Uh, Extra security, just in case I screw this up, basically. Uh, is anyone going to get around to actually deconstructing this stuff, or will they not deconstruct it while something's happening on it? Or do they actually actively finish the construction first? That could be interesting. Yeah, it looks like maybe they finished the construction, because I bet you Carrion's taking it apart now. Well, that's very cool. Nice and efficient. Brilliant. Right, oh yes, and we did have a colonist to rename, so let's have a quick go with that, and we can welcome back the first person to reappear from Alpha 9. I don't know how you're supposed to have got here, but Cruelty has made his way across the universe and has arrived now here in Alpha 11, which is a little odd, but so be it. 
Do we have an LMG to spare? That would be appropriate. Uh, we don't at the moment. I will, I will eventually get an LMG for cruelty, just because that seems... Seems like that's how it should be. Okay, come on, hurry up and get this bit down here done. Let's also get deconstruction there. I want to get that granite block in place. Cool, that looks like maybe they're thinking about it. Cool, now this should mean that this is still indoors, yeah. It's that benefit of the slightly weird things you can do on the corner that you kind of feel you shouldn't be able to do, but hey, it's going to let us do that. That's kind of what we need for all of this to work like it's going to. Okay, this down here can now technically all be removed once we... Uh, obviously, that's the, that's the bit where we have the potential concern of... That is still all indoors. That's done. Cool. Uh, do that one as well while we have the opportunity to. Yes, I think so. The granite wall in place. Okay. Basically, what I'm planning to do with this, rather than sort of dance around and try and sort of keep everything controlled down in the middle, I am literally going to delete the growing zones and try and do this all in one swift swoop. Like, get it all built up. Um, we don't yet have one of these quadrants that's indoors, so we need to decide how the door in and out of this quadrant is going to be. Because I reckon we might as well make this one here. You make that the, like the cooking and fridge quadrant. It's not. It's nice and near the fridge, which is what we wanted. So yeah, this one's the one that's going to be cooking and social. So we can actually incorporate temporarily some of what we've got in here already. So, question is, we can safely deconstruct that and the weird little bit of wire that's there. We can also, might as well, do, 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 do. This is unroofed, yeah. How, why is it unroofed? Is it unroofed because we've, yeah, because we've called it a no roof area. So what we should be able to do is clear this as a no roof area. And that will now roof over already. Good, 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 good. Now then, uh, door in and out of these sort of sections, where's going to be the most efficient? Maybe on the corners? There and there, for all intents and purposes? Yeah, I think, I think that makes sense. And then we can always have some in the middle as well. Uh, the other potential is to have these completely open and have the, uh, the corridors. Nah. No, actually, I don't like the idea of that. So let's get uh, one there and one there. That'll also allow us to get our hands on the silver from last episode, which will be nice. Does that make this... Yes, that makes this unroofed temporarily. Can you finish what you started, please? One of you, please. Just... Don't, don't just open it up and then leave it. That's not cool. No, finish it. I know you're going to be angry with me because I woke you up, but... But still... Interesting. It looks like we don't actually quite have enough power overnight. Archangel is a terrible constructor. Like, really bad. <laughs> what on earth? Does someone... Someone want to go and do that? Because I'd like it finished. And apparently Archangel is just, just terrible at constructing. So It's alright, though, because he's constructing that one, too. Right, food supplies are looking good. Let's get this done. Let's let's get this done. So deconstruct, deconstruct. This is the big move. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, we should have a whole bunch of growing zone in there. Let's get rid of all of that. Cool. And they're gonna go and deconstruct. Let's do uh, harvest everything that's available to be harvested. And structure. Granite wall. Let's get this in place ASAP. Uh, deconstruct. 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 We can always get our way back into these areas again afterwards, even if we close them off. And there's going to be a deep one of those there, and that should complete the internal corridor network. 
Then there's going to be, I don't want to, um, I want them to start on this first just in case we run into other issues. This is a very risky moment here because this is the moment where I like potentially discover that we didn't have enough granite blocks to finish the walls, for example. Entirely possible. I have to temporarily do them in another material or something. Come on, get them walls done. Worst case scenario, I can always just slop a door down like at the end of one of these corridors if it's not looking like it's going to fit. Get rid of these heaters now, we're no longer needing to heat an area that is technically indoors, but only temporarily. In fact, this stuff is all technically indoors at the moment, so it's not a massive problem. Uh, next question, this is all technically indoors as well. Next question, we're down to 80 granite blocks, and these take 5, so we're probably going to run out before we get all this finished. Just as a guess, that's how it is appearing to be. No easy way of reclaiming any granite, because nothing we're taking apart has been built with granite intentionally. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hurry up and get it finished. We don't want to raid during this either. That would be messy too. Uh, still got 40 granite left. Yeah, we're not going to be able to finish all of this with what we've got. So, production. The first thing we're going to do is get our... Where is it? stone cutters table uh, let's build it out of wood and this area up here is going to be our big construction and kitchen we're gonna have the kitchen stuff up over here but the idea is if you have this area sort of all one area and let's just check the distances that should be 11 yes yeah, so this entire thing can be one big open area and this entire thing is going to be let's also um, remove the no roof area that's in here this entire thing is also going to be sort of one big social network and everything as well construction production all of that sort of stuff but it does mean that i can just slap something down in here for the time being get them going on that task because yeah they're not going to have quite enough to get this all finished unfortunately these granite doors yeah let's deconstruct that one deconstruct that one because this is all still counting as indoors what we got? What we got? Group of tribes people prepare for a while, then attack. Holy Christ, that's a big group of tribes people. And why is everyone suddenly wandering around? Because we—that's the point at which we ran out of granite. Okay, I see. So this is made out of wood. Someone should get that done. Once that's done, we can. In fact, let's for the time being. I can always get rid of these. We're going to put two up for the moment try and help the speed of this along. They're going to deconstruct that. That works. We can also... There's more granite there, more granite there. Let's deconstruct all of these internal doors because we're not going to have them in the end. That might actually, because I think the granite also doors are quite expensive in comparison. Yeah, 25. So that's going to be enough on its own. Let's cancel these. That's probably going to be enough on its own to finish off the little bits we're missing to get this some of the way there. Uh, but yes, they're preparing for... I don't understand. Normally it freezes like that because one of your colonists is actually actively involved in a fight. Uh, we can do that. But at the moment, I can't... Let's just flick through everybody in the base. Anyone not in the base? Nope. We are all in the base area. So we're fine. I don't know why it's slowed down quite like that. I guess to warn me that there's a bunch of people coming. How many great bows have we got here? One, two, three... Uh, enough. These aren't great bows. These are the short bows. Those aren't a problem. So it looks like there's only there's only three great bows in this group. Actually, oh no, four. There's one up there as well, isn't there? Look, you can just about see it floating. Yeah, four great bows. It's not too bad. Uh, we are going to work on an outdoor area as soon as this internal bit's done. We're going to start working on a sort of better outdoor defence. Um, I think the idea is with these, first of all, these barbicans that I mentioned earlier, but then also a we uh, some sort of wall system to enable or encourage the archers to get a bit closer. So yeah, let's speed things up again. It'll go beep boop when they try and attack, at which point we've got lots of colonists idle, obviously, because I've not got very many jobs queued up at the moment, and we've, we've taken away all the growing jobs, for example. So let's... Um, the deconstruction's gone. Let's get the mass deconstructing down here, because we're going to need to start building this stuff up, re back into a growing zone really soon, and let's also um, cut plants on all the stuff that didn't completely grow get rid of that. That'll give people something to do for the time being, I'm sure. Yep, down to two colonists idle. And we've got a mad animal. Where is the mad animal? Manhunter squirrel. Well, it, it's, it's right next to all of the turrets, so I doubt it's going to get very far. 
Although it's gonna, it's gonna have a good attempt at trying to beat up the, the turrets. That is, uh, tries people still chilling out up the top there. That's fine. We are getting there inside. We've got 71 blocks. We've definitely got enough blocks to finish this all off. They're just sleeping and doing other things along those lines. Uh, did we? Yeah, we did kill that, so we will bring it in eventually as well. Speed things up a bit. Obviously, it's night time, which is not ideal at this point. I would have really liked to have got some of this internal stuff actually finished. Alanox is stuck in here. Interesting. Uh, right, so for the time being, we're going to need... This is unroofed, so let's also um, clear the no-roof area out here. But, yeah, Alanox has built himself in here. GG, bro, GG. Um, how can we best do this? Because at the moment, I'm going to have to sort of like temporarily... Because we don't have the granite really to put down. Or maybe we do. The granite to put down one door. So let's do a door there. And hopefully that will mean that Alanox can get out. Uh, probably not going to take part in this fight. Because they are now beginning their assault. Here they come. Right, so let's go. Overview restrictions. Everybody stay inside the base for now. We know that Stuby and Sean are our two snipers over here. So keep things going. And then when relevant, we will wake those up, but we might not even need to. They may well get up on their own at this rate. Four, five, six, come on. Cool, that's far enough from you guys. Up you come. I'm gonna get disturbed sleep, but missing a toe, eh? There are some people trying to come around that side as well. This, is, this looks to be one of those scenarios where we have a pretty decent chance of doing enough damage early on. Everyone get up. Uh, is that, that That's including Tip, who doesn't actually need to be, but yeah, come on guys. Let's get up and get involved in this fight, please. I know it's going to annoy you, but the first ones appearing here are going straight for the turrets, and we might as well be dealing a bit of damage at the same time. Same with you, Stu. Get out there. Are you going to blow yourself up pretty hardcore, or not? Uh, you two, let's have you outside as well, helping to join in. Stu, move a little bit further. Critical alert, colonist needs treatment. Who? Sean. Sean's taken a bow hit, I imagine. Cut short bow. Yeah, let's get you inside. How about down here? There's still a turret covering these guys, although unfortunately Kerrion was one of the ones we brought down here, which is not ideal. Come on, do some more damage. We need these guys to run away. Uh... We got there. Someone with a pillar. Can we give them a nasty surprise? Perhaps not with Sean. Sean, you can probably go and get treated, in fact. Let's send these four just out to give. Oh, no. Hang on. Can you guys wait a sec? Oh, no. No need. <laughs> no need. And down here. That turret's about to blow. Get yourselves inside. Cruelty took a hit. Still just cuts. That's fine. Inside, people. Oh, they are fleeing. Hang on. Not inside. Outside, people. Outside. Shoot them down as they run. You guys might as well all go back. And what was this? Camino. Looking all right in that respect. Character. Stephos Jogger is only 25. Looking good. Looking good. So we'll take a... We'll take a Camino. Are we anyone else we're going to gonna grab? Not at the moment. Oh, hang on a sec. There's uh, another Minoka. Trigger happy, steadfast, psychically deaf. They're all pretty good. Capable of social is not the end of the world. They tend to get a bit more annoyed with incapable of social. Nice and young, and they've cla clavicle, no less. Those are like gunshots, but not technically in very much trouble. Uh, I don't know where you guys are going. I'm pretty sure I told you to turn around and go inside. Uh, so let's have Archangel go and grab Minoka. I suspect that was it. That was pretty painful to our turrets. We are going to need to set something better up in this respect soon. Uh, Kerry and you might as well go back to what you were doing. Cool. A few more of them going down. So, what have we got down here? Cruelty needs treatment. Uh, got, did you get hit by a friend? No, it's short bows. Okay, so... In one piece... Pessimist, cold tolerant, capture and release and or sell your organs, I think, for you? Which one was that? 
Okay, and the other one there. Also downed Chemical Increased Green Thumb Prostophile. Dreams of going bionic. Which works, not too badly beaten up, and nice and young. So, hell yeah. Let us do, 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 grab some more. Well, I'm not even sure if we will. <clears throat> no unreserved enclosed prisoner marked bed. Are you sure? Kruka, Minoka. Yeah, we've run out of prisoner beds. Fair play. Which one are we grabbing? We're gra grabbing the cold tolerant pessimist. Did we want to get the prostophile? Yes, we did. So, cruelty. Don't. I'm not sure how to best do this. Is cattle... Ah, here we go. So we can capture... I'm going to capture cattle. Not... Oh, I have to un unpause it. There we are now. Capture cattle. No? What's happened here? Cambiar's been assigned a bed. Despite the fact that we're no longer going to take Cambiar back to a bed. Okay. That's kind of annoying. But we're, we're not we're not capturing Cambiar. We aren't. Unless one of these guys happens to be called Cambiar as well, but I don't think so. Oh, lots of corpses and weapons and all sorts. Anything else kicking around we want to grab? Not really. Oh, some weapons and stuff down here. We will take those. And of course, the stripping. I think that's it. Wait, these guys are in and out. Actually managed to allow Analox, uh, Alanox back out of his uh, out of his spot. That's still owned by Cambiar for some reason. Uh, how do I fix that? It's like it's assigned it to Cambiar anyway. Can I? Which one do we kill? Yay, we killed Cambiar. <laughs> uh, stop. Uh, this this may backfire. However, a couple in med couple of them in medical beds and no 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 not strip. Capture cattle. Yay, that worked. <laughs> Just had to kill the other one. So yeah, it looks like it assigns them a bed as soon as you do that, and if they and until they die, they continue that assignment to the bed, even if you've cancelled it. Cool. We have plenty of granite, so I don't know why these guys aren't. I guess there's just too much other stuff to do at the moment. They are pretty hot on hauling, I suppose. So it may be that they're almost overhauling at this point. Come on, get it done, get it done. So I want to convert this over to the... Or is it this side that's going to be the growing? This side should be growing. I guess. No, it shouldn't. This side should be growing because it keeps it nice and close to relative stockpiles, etc. Technically, it should even be up there. But, but hey, so what we can do in here... Where is it? Floors... Remove floor. What a wonderful tool that is. Get rid of the floor that we don't need anymore. Let's also deconstruct all of this random wooden stuff except for that stuff there. We need that one to safely do that block. Anything else? Ah, oh, yes. All that. Nice, nice. I might even have the kitchen... Oh, kitchen can't be open because the 11 block thing. That's exactly the size it can be at maximum. Uh, right, these guys, I completely... Right, Crooch is fine, but... Let's have a look. Gets medicine. Chat and recruit for Camino, yes. Chat and recruit for cattle, yes. I think it was Minoka was the one that we weren't chatting and recruiting. Actually, no, Minoka was fine. So who was it? No, they're all good. 
In which case, get some medicine, chat and recruit. All good. Hopefully they will do okay. They haven't been treated particularly well because I forgot to allow their medicine to begin with. Uh, yes, and this is this is what you get. Minoka has developed an infection in what? In her leg. Now we could cut the leg off. Is Minoka the prostophile? No. Hmm. We'll just have to see how things go. Often the problem is that those infections then spread. Uh, Shattered, are you? We need more constructors going on here. Tip's the only one doing it, and Tip's too busy healing. So, Jack. He's more slightly higher. Our art guy. So, I th yeah, I think it should be Jack. Should get a, a three on construct as well. And maybe drop his hauling down. The hauling's still going fine. I just, the construction really isn't. Things are being a bit slow. What are you doing? Meditating. Roger. Once you've done meditating, sir, can you come and finish building this door for me? Mm. Yes, damn it. And Zaffa is not doing anything at all. Ooh. And we haven't done cruelties stuff whatsoever. You should not be cooking, sir. Neither really should tip, but... That's fine. Someone has to go and help. Uh, yes, because Zaffa's got really really useless that's a four for there you are going to be a smith and a crafter and then we'll have your hauling quite high as well cool more diseases more diseases they're all infected in the leg critical alert colonist needs treatment they're beaten up on tip tip get the hell out of there and beat up on each other. Do we have a backup doctor out of interest? Sean's pretty good. Let's have you on four. Let them fight. Let them fight. Uh, so, what we're going to need to do, because these guys' infections is not going well. Uh, infection minor. Infection minor. Uh, I don't know. They are getting treated. Should be alright. So, who did we just put on Doctor? That was Sean. Sean, can you go and treat the tip for me, please? Thank you. Def infection in the torso, right? They're going to have to get over this now, in other words. There's no, there's no coming back. There is no curing it. It's spreading all over. There's also no, oh, we'll just chop her leg off. Is that more infections in lung? Oh god. Um Okay, hopefully you survive. I I I'm almost now loath to do any operations to like remove body parts just in case they end up being infected or something. I don't even know if that's a mechanic, but because I've never really played a huge amount with harvesting body parts and selling them on. I know it's a sort of viable technique. It's just for some reason it's not a technique I particularly like. So it's, it's along with the uh, the whole I'm going to uh Go to feed my colonist animal, uh, human meat. It's just, yeah, you know what, I'm alright. Cool, so this is all almost set up and ready. We need to put the granite doors in. We really should have set up the wooden stone cutters tables up here. For now, food supplies are looking okay, so we're going to delete the fridge. What was that ding noise? Low food. Cool. Jack getting a bit of the construction done finally, which is good. Cargo pods, please have granite in them. No, it's got meat in them, which is fine. I mean, we've still got cooking going on, so it's relatively close to the base. That works out. Oh, hang on. Dull. Dull. Everything's going so alright, I completely forgot. That everyone's also still restricted. Oh, and yeah, two people have um, too much sleep as well. These guys here have too much sleep, so... Carry on and cruelty. You can stay up another another hour longer. Cool, right, down here... This stuff needs building, really. And I think the problem is we don't have... We're out of granite yet. Right, 
bills, add bill, stone blocks, do until we have some blocks. Do until we have 250 and we just want, uh, what are we doing, granite. Cool. Go. Let's check. We have got someone on crafting, haven't we? Yes. Zaffa, for some reason. Ah, oh, yes, that's a failed hauling thing from previously, isn't it? Zaffa should really be on construction as well, then, with how... I mean, it's bad skill, but we'll learn, whereas... Can't haul. And then crafting... Krilty will do some crafting for us, by the looks of things. Yeah, because I want to get... These two need sorting out pretty swiftly so that we can then get this area considered to be... This is all unroofed, which is fine, like it should be. Need to get the growing zones back up again. We've still got supplies of food to cook with, fortunately, but... It's a remarkable amount of hauling not being done. Is this suspended? No, it's not. Tip seems to be alright now, though. That's good. Awake for another day. Of course, all the hauling needs doing because they were confined inside the base. So they're probably not actually going to do anything particularly useful at this point because they're all busy hauling. Yeah, we're 25 granite blocks short of finishing off that blooming door. That's kind of annoying. Let's also deconstruct that. Cruelty. Do, do, do. Smith. Yeah, Cruelty should craft before he hauls. So hopefully Cruelty will be getting on board with the stone cutting at some point soon. Let's do another one of these stone blocks until we have 250 granite. Yay! So then we can go into here and make this into a no roof area. And this will be where one of our growing areas is. It's not going to be completely efficient because of the shape in here, but it will be good enough. Go on, Zaffa, hurry up and get that stuff built. I know you're slow, but come on. Come on! Finish it! Whoop. A raid. They're attacking immediately. We did. They're, fortunately, they're coming from a different angle because we didn't be rebuild the turrets up here. I should probably, before I forget, go and do these. So there's one there, one there. These ones didn't get hurt. So how many did we actually lose? I feel like moving this one along a bit because it seems to be in a bit of a silly spot where it is. Okay, so we lost four turrets. That seems to be the average for a, a raid is a four turret loss. And having just taken them off the restrictions, let's put the restrictions back on again. Because these guys obviously are attacking immediately. Uh, is anyone awake that we don't want to go to bed yet? Zaffa, you have a shotgun, yeah? You come up there. DJ, charge rifle, come over there. Jack, PW down there, please. You two, uh, tip's no use, but Season, a wooden stool will help. Season's got the LMG, so Season can come down there. Stuby, hauling boom wrap meat. The survival rifle. No, you can come down here for me, please. I think that's everyone that's still awake. Ah, these tribes and raids are getting massive. And also, our prisoner quarters is now full. So there's no way we're recruiting any more people. These guys are all going to have to die. Uh, right, you can already start off outside, to be honest. Same with you guys. You're going to get a nice opportunity to fire before they get anywhere near... Cruelty, you are awake and with a charge rifle, so you can come down and join the party too. That's right, get some hate done. Uh, can you two perhaps come a bit further forward, try and get into range? The season's the LMG fella, so... Would be nice. Be careful here. Once, as soon as the turrets are down, we need to start thinking about retreating these guys back in again. And this turret's going to be close. We have defended down there, right? You guys all have to come back inside again now. Thank you. All. Uh, Olga's going to be trying to shoot the turret rather than our guys. These fellows are going to come and join the party over this side. 
We can't be far from making them run at this point, to be honest. Come on. Uh, what's going on out here? Those two with the blooming bows are at the top. These two, basically, if I was to come out here, they'd immediately turn around and try shooting up at our guys. I don't want that to happen. We'll get a bit of warning when this thing starts to explode. And with a bit of luck, we might actually be able to take someone out. If these guys learned to hit, come on. God's sake. Okay, back inside. Cool. Did a bit of work. Still not as much as I would have liked. But hopefully enough that this next turret can maybe... Look, look how many blooming bows they've got. They have all, however, come around the corner. Uh, what's this? Exhaustion. Cruelty. All right, Krilty, go to bed. Oh, just just as they run away, we arrive ready for the ambush. Although it does mean that we'll be able to maybe take a few of them out as they attempt to run. Or maybe not, because our guys can't shoot to save their lives, because we've basically spent the entire game hiding in the base every time the enemies come, and so no one's any good at shooting. Roger. Right, let's get the uh, restrictions put back immediately. Let's go and rebuild the turrets immediately, because again, we, we have no ability to take these guys on board. That's already done. I guess the losses were four again. Yeah. Four again. Uh, but we do, obviously get a huge amount of stuff we can sell on out of these raids. I mean, not for very much, but sell it we shall. All right, uh, strip everybody. Let's strip orders. Yep, strip all these guys. Strip, 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 strip. Yep, looks all right. And then obviously we're going to cremate all the bodies here rather than... I don't think I shouldn't be stripping them, should I? Because they get dropped immediately up here into this stockpile, which is looking pretty full. In fact, are we out of stockpile space? Looks like we are. Might have to start using some of it. Cool, and yeah, we're going to let everybody involved in that that survived, if there were any. Uh, no one massively obvious, I have to say, actually. Uh, do, do, do. And if there are any survivors, they're bleeding out, I'm afraid. Funky, so where were we? We were making this zone area. Not not home area. No roof area. In here. This should now all be outside. And that should be hauled. Then This is all indoors, like it should be. It's just a slightly weird lighting effect. Um what we can do actually is we can use a whole bunch of the wood we've got finishing off the floors because like this entire area here will be indoors that won't be that won't be this might be not 100% sure yet actually with this one that might be outside as well I think it might be growing growing solar and joy social and production so because you don't really need that much space for social and production that's probably enough might be able to fit a fridge in there as well but Anyway, that means that this will probably be the outside, in which case we want to remove the floor. The other thing we can do, let's have a look at the power network, because it's all a bit weird at this point. And in reality, it could be really straightforward. Power lines are just going to run along all the major walls. <laughs> and not anywhere else. So, deconstruct like that. Actually, that, that's probably needed for... Well, it can't be needed for the turrets anymore because the turrets have now got their own outside power ring going around the outside walls, so... It's annoying we can't... Can we get it the... There we go. Deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. That power conduit. Yeah. Yeah, cool. And then we can obviously do the same in here. We will eventually tidy things up outside so that this is all um, kind of a bit more clean, a bit more normal. But So deconstruct all of that. 
because that's connected on there and there. We might connect it on more times, but for the time being, that's a nice easy way of doing it. All of this can be deconstructed, as can that. Uh, technically, these across the ends of these corridors are kind of needed. You have to join the join the connections up somewhere. Okay, we've got that there, that there. This is all unnecessary. Nice and clean, nice and clean. Of course, this is all indoors at the moment, so we could technically deconstruct all this stuff as well. Actually, out of stockpile space, I was not expecting, I have to say. That's fine, that just means we need to do a bit more selling, uh, which is a good point. We do not currently have a place to do any selling. So, was it MISC, isn't it? For the comms console? We can just tuck the comms console in here somewhere. It's going to seem appropriate with this sort of layout. Kitchen stuff's going to be at the top, so let's have the console just down there. Yeah. All good use of materials that we need to start getting rid of. Did we have an orbital beacon up here at all? Doesn't look like it, so maybe we want to stick a trade beacon there. Down here, we're going to want to get sun lamps in position so let we go there I'm trying to think what's going to make the most efficient use of this because obviously that's a bit of an overlap there so maybe we ignore those two squares by the corner and then the question is do you overlap them to such an extent that they so that ends there so they're like that, so the entire of this area is available for growth, or do you leave some of it free? Obviously it's a bit overkill doing it like this, but... Wish there was a nice easy way of... Oh, there is, isn't there? Because you can select the sun lamp. Oh, you can select the sun lamp once it's built, and it will do it nicely and show you the area, but it won't until it's built. I had forgotten. Cool, floor going down, people starting to use up some of the stuff down there. Critical alert, poor mood from Stuby. I don't know why you're so mad, Stu. What's your, what's your problem? Other than the fact that you're a neurotic teetotaler. <laughs> Not the best combination, if I'm honest. Uh, very tired. Go to bed then, bruh. I'm hungry. Well, he's about to cheer up because he's going to eat. Ooh, storms. Never good. Loads of mess outside that's slowly getting dealt with, which is cool. Kinda loads of mess inside that's slowly getting worked up with. Stu is now exhausted. What's he doing? Stone cutting? No, no you're not. Overview restrictions. Stuby. Stuby goes to bed at 9pm. It is currently... 10pm. Is there any particular reason, Mr. Stuby, why you are not asleep? See, that seems to be your problem, is that you were just doing stuff you shouldn't have been. Your schedule does not have you doing that. Cool. And now we've got it set up so that everything is looking good for some trade as well. That piece of power conduit can be removed, however. Is there floor going down there? No, for some reason not. Go on, floor this stuff up. Anywhere else missing? Again, if nothing else, this gets rid of some of the huge volumes of wood we've got. We might have to start getting some art on the go, get some wood sculptures next episode, maybe. Good way of ditching some, and then we've got space up here. This is, I think, now just going to become... Um, probably a couple more colonist rooms, and then an armory on one end so that we have an easy way of checking out where our weaponry is because you know we've still got a fair few empty colonist beds you know no one there no one there uh, tips that so we've got two empty colonist beds okay maybe we don't have a fair few empty colonist beds maybe I do need to turn this into bedrooms ignore me okay so last thing we do before we end the episode because I notice I've actually got a little bit carried away with this one so it might end up being a bit longer than usual is let's get some more spots for colonists because we have the room for them. Uh, of course, then we've got this funny extra room on the end anyway, which I suppose... Yeah, I've forgotten about that. I suppose if we cancel this, 
do it the other way around. So one, two, three. There. We can have an armory room on the end. So granite auto door. Actually, we weren't using auto doors for this, were we? We were just using standard wooden doors. It's granite auto doors on that side, and wooden or wooden normal doors on this side. <laughs> So, I mean, I certainly think that the wooden normal doors makes more sense. There is no need for these to be quite so hardcore when we're going in and out of them so infrequently. These doors could potentially be something else, but it doesn't matter for now. Temperature, I need the vents as usual. So, one, two, three. Uh, I guess one in there as well. And then floors. Let's get the wood floor down in this area too. Nice. This stuff out. Oh, this is all unroofed out here. It's just us. Oh, it's first thing in the morning. Okay, that makes sense. Ah, right. This is finished. So we can now. I should be able to ha keep that selected. Get a misc, and then now we can see much nice, much more nicely how things are going to overlap. So, to make the best use of the room, it looks like I'm actually going to want three out here. Because if we put this down like that, that would be the space where this goes. And in reality, how much extra does that really give you? That's it. That's gone one too far over, really, hasn't it? Unless we do one there. One there, and then how many spaces is that? One, two, three, four. Four spaces between. One, two, three, four. So that'd be one there. One, two, three. Only a three gap. Only be a three gap on the end there. This is all a bit. Let's cancel that. That that would be sort of how to get as best total coverage as you can. You could maybe even move this one block over. But I don't think that's necessary out here. I think what we want to do is Get a sun lamp, build it so that it, it, it uses as best we can over this end. And then, so maybe like that, and this one actually gets built one across. Like that, and we deconstruct this one. And if need be, we can go and make those more efficient in future, but this will be where our uh, growing area is. Uh, of course it's unroofed, but it's supposed to be roofed. I don't know why I unroofed it. Nom, 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 nom. The only bit that's outside is this bit. Interesting, that actually helped. It got rid of some of the shadow that wasn't there previously. Weird. Cool. Well, as much as I'd like to continue, because I'm actually quite enjoying this episode and quite enjoying finally having the base starting to take shape a little bit and start to look like what we intended. Pretty cool that it's sort of all going to kind of fit in here. Quite pleased with that. Well, I think what I think I might end up doing, in fact, is this fridge is kind of in a rubbish place. That needs to be more bedrooms and stuff. So I will probably end up putting the uh, fridge inside the sort of crafting construction area, which will be this one here. Uh, and then what I do with this section here depends entirely on if we can grow enough food over here. If we can, then great. This might be another stockpile, perhaps. Uh, if we can't, then obviously that's going to be more growing zones. But there you go decent progress made got the entire middle bit sorted out and cooking is back up and going growing should be back up and going real soon fought off a couple of tribesmen raids got some new people to try and recruit and yeah been pretty good so far so i hope you enjoyed that one guys if you did please hit like please hit subscribe as usual really helps me in the channel out and if you didn't hit me up in the comments below let me know how i can improve so thanks a lot guys i'll catch you next time